Blizzard, please, we have to, we have to talk. Hello everyone, my name is Skyline. Uh, I hope you're doing fine. And this is Ducky here. Ducky, take. Good boy. So this is Overtalk, where uh, I want the dog to talk about Overwatch stuff. Anyway, so uh, recently I made a Doomfist video. It was pretty awesome, pretty sweet. I liked it. You guys liked it, I think. And it had a lot of cool tech, cool tricks in it that I thought were super fun. And I really loved playing Doomfist. It was, it was just the best. Come on. And, uh... Uh, anyway, where was I? Oh yeah, so Doomfist, super fun, right? But uh, recently they, they made some changes on the PTR that all they did was they hit his fun aspects and that's it. And uh, it seems to be a trend for Blizzard. First they had, uh, well, way back from Widowmaker, remember when they changed her quickscope to feel really, really bad? And uh, then they had Genji, remember with his animation canceling and stuff? Even to a, a little bit of a lesser extent, I think that they had Anna with her, they nerfed his rifle versus his grenade. And uh, by the way, beautiful day out, a little bit grayer than I would like, that's why I'm wearing my gray shirt today. But I feel like Blizzard just keeps on doing this. Like with Doomfist, well, they'll, they'll take something that looks, to, it's like a bug, oh, it's a bug, it's a bug. And they just don't want you to have unintended fun. No, now, don't get me wrong, 90% of the time, the, uh, the Blizzard dev team is great, I love it. But just for this one specific thing, is really, really bothering me. Take Doomfist, for example. His fist had that momentum going into it. It felt really great, it felt super fun. His, uh, his smash, yeah, it could go above heights that it was intended to, and that probably should have been taken away, but they really nerfed it hard down to like, you can barely go anywhere with it. And uh, they just really, they just changed it so he feels a lot less fun, a lot less mobile. What they, what they need to be doing and you can see how this has hurt the game a couple a couple different times, right? Take Mercy, for example. Mercy's a hero who I think has a lot of potential to be very fun and really cool. I really enjoy playing Mercy, especially the old Mercy without the invulnerability on her flight. Take a really good buff. Remember when they changed it so that when you used your res, it reset the cooldown on your dash? That was super fun. But then a, a buff like the invulnerability on her res, not so fun because it's not fun for the player, it's not dynamic, and it's not fun for the people playing against the player, right? Because uh, there's no way to counter it. And that's what Doomfist is gonna turn into. If you nerf all of his mobility, you nerf the dynamic aspects of the hero, what's left to buff? His punch, one-shotting people better? That's pretty much it. All you can do is buff his ability to one-shot and his ability to just do really unfun things because it's fun to play against mobility. It's very dynamic. You can predict their actions, they can make actions. It's more fun to have heroes that are less strong, but more, but more dynamic. And Blizzard seems to be taking the approach to make heroes more numerically strong and less dynamic as far as mobility goes. Bye bye car. But this really gets to the core of the issue, right? And this is my real point. So while it's less fun, that's still a subjective value, right? The devs, maybe they think that it's less fun playing against mobile heroes and that it's more fun dealing with just straight numbers. Like, Mercy is invulnerable during her res. You can't counter it. Maybe they think that's fun. I'm sure other people think that's fun as well. I know a lot of people, if I were to say, hey, instead of buffing the invuln on Mercy, instead of nerfing the mobility on Doomfist, how about you nerf the numbers on Doomfist and you buff the mobility on Mercy? Hi, plane. But let's get let's get to something a little bit more objective, right? Something that I think is really bad. And this has happened time and time again to me in this game, which is frustrating, but uh, to other people as well. So take Widowmaker. We're gonna, we're gonna go up through the history, right? Take Widowmaker. It was a skill to deal with her scope. The quick scoping thing, um, it, it was certainly something that was acquired. You learned it over time. And it was really frustrating for a lot of people when Blizzard completely removed the mechanic, basically wasted their time because you spent all this time, 50, 100 hours at that point, learning something, only to have it completely change. You now no longer even know how to play the hero. You need to aim in a completely different way. And uh, 
That's just really not very fair to your players, right? Let's keep going. Let's talk about Genji now. Genji players, they learned how to utilize the triple jump. They learned how to use the melee combos in certain, in certain areas. And Blizzard just, boom, gone, removed. All those hours you put into learning that are just no longer viable, no longer relevant. And uh, that's pretty concerning because uh, don't go run, don't get run over by the car, dog. Uh, that's pretty that's pretty concerning, right? Because now the player base suddenly you, they can't trust Blizzard. To, they can't trust Blizzard by putting all these hours into it and all this time into something. Because who knows if it's going to be taken away? They hello. <laughs> well, uh, anyway, I forgot what I was talking about. You uh, something about you know Zenyatta, two hundred HP. They, they took away the requirement to have any of that. They basically changed the hero to just being like a Discord or bot. And uh, it, was, it was really lame. Don't drink that. It was really lame for, for players like myself who had really learned him the original way. Uh, and it just, uh, if you go, let's finish it off with Doomfist here. Doomfist, fortunately, a hero that nobody had a ton of time. But I mean, I still spent a good 15, 20 hours playing Doomfist, learning these mechanics. And uh, it's not as bad as when I played Widowmaker or Zenyatta or Mercy, for example. Mercy, you no longer need to know how to survive after res. You're just invulnerable. That cuts away a skill off Mercy. Um, with Doomfist, it's still frustrating to a lesser extent because I only put 20 hours in, where I learned all this stuff, you know, even just to make the video. Uh, I learned how to utilize his momentum properly, how to do all, this, all the stuff that really you had to do to be effective yeah, man, with the hero. And Blizzard just said, nope, that's not relevant anymore. Uh, you can't just keep doing that. You can't keep taking a skill set that these players have learned over hours and hours and hours and hours and uh, taking it away. So Blizzard, like I said, they've been doing a great job. I just think for this one specific thing, you have to stop cutting mechanics. You have to stop cutting skills and start respecting the time of the players more. Start respecting the amount of effort and the things that they've learned. Because uh, not only is it just respectful to the player base, it's also more fun to have those fun mechanics in the game. And uh, instead, think about nerfing or buffing. You know, you know when you want to buff a hero, buff the dynamic aspects. And when, when you want to nerf a hero, nerf the non-dynamic aspects, the numbers. Damn it. The numbers. So for Doomfist, for example, what if he kept all that mobility and just had a little bit of a, a little bit of weaker damage? That'd be fun. Players wouldn't mind that. Players wouldn't be as up in arms about it as they are now. Same thing with Mercy. Let's take it the opposite direction, right? Instead of buffing her invulnerability, that I said would be a problem, remember? I said that was going to be an issue. Instead of buffing her invulnerability, just uh, buff like her dash. Make it even better than it was. Buff her gliding thing. Maybe make it even better than that was, right? Players would have a lot more fun with that than they would with the, oh, Mercy just res. She's invulnerable. The player doesn't have fun. The people playing against the player don't have fun. And uh, yeah. So, I think, that, uh, I think that wraps it up here for Overwatch for today. Uh, I hope you enjoyed. Let me know if you want to see more. This one was windy. But uh, this one was a little bit, um, you know, it's not always going to be negative randy stuff. It just happened to be in my mind. And uh, that's how it goes. Never forget to stay positive, or in this case, constructively negative which is like positive negativity, right? And have a great day. All right, say bye-bye, Ducky. All right, guys, catch you later.